so got a new delivery a uh, box of boots of course let's get into it G'day, welcome back to Bootlosophy, and if you're new here, my name is Tech. I acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land that I'm filming on, the Wajik people. Now, I'm very excited because I got this uh, box that I've been tracking on the online tracker for a while. It's from, can you see, Chisos? So, those of you who are watching will realize that uh, you've seen me review a pair of cowboy boots from Soto. And I also have a pair of uh, Roper boots from an Australian brand called Ringers Weston. Uh, and you can check out that video up here. But Chisos reached out to me, so I have to say that this, these boots uh, were given to me for review. Now Chisos reached out to me to see if I wanted to try a pair and review them. With no strings attached, there's absolutely no obligation for me to sing their praises if I see anything that I don't like. So, um, as usual, I'll be giving you my clean and honest review. Um, so these Chisos boots are their number one boots. I don't know much about Western boots, I have to tell you. <laughs> and um, I don't really know much about Chisos, but um, when I do my full review, I will research them, obviously, and bring you the facts. But for the moment, let's open the box and see what I think. So let's get this started. Um, nicely packed large box. Make sure I'm not cutting into anything important, <laughs> including my own fingers. Right. So what comes in the box is an envelope. Those Chiso's boots. Oh, howdy, tech. Thank you for uh, supporting our small company. Hope you love your new boots and belt. Oh, I have a belt as well. Thanks, Chris. That's marvelous. Oh, good. I have a, uh, a stubby holder uh, for a beer can, which is great. Stickers, always helpful. <laughs> uh, do right, love Texas. So a little bit of um, spiel about uh, how I have become part of an ethos of pride and stewardship in my cowboy boots. Excellent. I always love swag. Um, and then we have Howdy Tech. And this is just their packing uh, slip. That's great. And then inside is the actual boot box itself. So I always struggle with this. Let's remove it from the packing box. And I'll get rid of the packing box. And open it up from here. Do right, love Texas. Oh, is that sealed? Hmm. Ah, well, that was a hidden, hidden. Uh, entry. Now this looks really nice. So let me get rid of the top. Everything's in lovely bags. Let's leave the boots to last. This, according to that note, is a belt. This is lovely thick material. Very, very thick indeed. Uh, a matching belt. Excellent. This is in what Chisos calls the uh, black magic leather which is what the boots are in. Really nice. Okay, love to try those on. And let's get one of these out. Again, a very thick boot bag. Lovely material. Let's get this out. Oh, here we go. That's very nice. Black magic leather. Leather sole. Uh, I believe lemon wood pegs as well as some brass nails, nice rubber top heel with a map of Texas, leather stacked heel, leather stacked sole, uh, front half Goodyear welted, back half will be nailed in. There's a toe bug, and because it's black, 
black. I don't know whether you can pick it up, but that's a nice toe bug, quite subtle. And if I'm wearing my pants down to here in black, it shouldn't be too bad. The stitching on the front is a sun. I'll do some research when I bring this to you in a full review, but I think this is um, to do with the Chisos Mountains. And there's a moon and stars. Quite subtle, very nice indeed. We'll get this out. There's more stuffing on the inside. We'll take them out. Now, they have this wonderful red lining, leather lining, uh, which I've read about, nice and soft. And also, they have uh, an insole, a removable insole, which is what makes them different, I understand, from other cowboy boots. Leather topped insole. Uh, three um, three uh, thicknesses of, of uh, foam to give you different types of padding. Put this back in there. Um, but it's looking very nice. So let's take a look at the other boot. Again, you know, everything is really nicely finished. The black leather is discreet, so it's not like screaming out cowboy boot. The shape's really nice. Let me get rid of this box. The shape is really nice. The embroidery is nice. The leather is firm but nice. Oh, hello, more swag. Fit guide. Talks about the thump of when you slip your heel in. Handshake snug. A little bit of heel slip. And the toe box should fit comfortably. Bit of nighttime reading. Let's remove that. Let's remove that. And look at them side by side. I mean, just looking at the stitching and the finish, this really is quality stitching. I, I, everything is very neat, very accurate, and the stitching on the design is really accurate, almost as if they have a template. I don't know if they do or not. Um, really nice. The heel uh, counter feels quite firm. I understand that's actually leather. Not sure what the toe puff is. That feels pretty firm too. The number one is the round toe last. So uh, to me, it's better than the snip toe or square toes, which are very cowboyish and not at all my style. Um, yeah, the stitching on the sole is really good. Uh, and I think it comes through. It's, sl it's channeled and then the flap is folded over. So it, it protects the stitch. And I love the look of that sort of, would you call it a fiddleback arch? Because there's a bit of a gap there where the uh, leather uh, shank is inserted. All right. I think I can, because they're nice and shiny black, I reckon I can wear these with a suit. So I might try them on with a suit and definitely with jeans. Okay, uh, I'm going to put these on feet and then we'll uh, finish off the video. Okay, let's slip these on. Fairly stiff to start with. Oh, I hear that pop as the heel goes in, quite tight across the instep, I'm finding. I'm, I'm wearing quite thick boot socks, but quite tight along there. Uh, and also, I'm not sure these pants, oh yes, they will, they'll go over them. Very nice. Other side, these pull loops are about the only ones that um, I won't rant about, because these are definitely useful. Oh, definitely pops in. Yeah, they they fit really well. Um, I think underneath the arch, they feel really good. There's certainly enough uh, room in the toe box for me to flex my toes, you know, just move them around. But I do find this in both boots at the instep quite stiff. They'll definitely need some breaking in there. Uh, you saw how they popped in uh, through the passageway, is that the right thing to say, um, into the heel. 
uh, and once in, they feel nice and snug. They certainly make me feel taller because of the tall heel, uh, as well as the insole, which reminds me if the instep is um, too tight, I, can, I guess I can always remove the insole uh, until the leather starts to stretch and break in. Uh, or I can wear thinner socks. I don't think that'll be a problem. They feel really good. Uh, there is definitely some break in required because they are tight across there and I feel some tightness across the uh, outside of the ball of my right foot which is often where I feel it, that particular right knuckle. My right foot is wider than my left foot. Left foot feels fine except for that snugness on the instep. Um, in terms of how they feel on foot, Snug, comfortable, apart from those um, hot spots. They feel value, they feel quality. I do like them. Uh, I guess breaking in will now have to be scheduled, which uh, unfortunately at this moment, I may not have the time to break them in because of other things happening in my life, but we shall see. <laughs> and uh, I will bring them back to you in about a month's time, maybe a bit longer. Uh, to give you a full review on them. Um, yeah, I like them. Okay, let's sum up. Okay, so um, we'll just finish off there. Um, I really like these. They, they look really good. They, they felt comfortable on feet, and I'm, they will have to be broken in, but they felt quite comfortable on feet. Uh, as my subscribers know, I'm not a cowboy boot guy. I do have a pair of cowboy boots, and I do have a Roper boot, which I really like, being that uh, brown suede, uh, uh, lovely brown suede, soft and, and uh, uh, very comfortable. These, I think, I would wear with a suit. I definitely wear these with jeans, but I'm looking forward to wear the, wearing these in a quite dressy manner. Um, so look out in about a month's time. I'll do some research on Chisos, and I'll bring you a full review about how they're constructed, how they're made, uh, and I'll tell you about the value that I think they, they represent. But certainly to me, looking at it now, I, I think they look excellent value. So make sure you click on like and subscribe below. Uh, lots of my viewers keep coming back to watch my videos, but they don't subscribe. So help me out. Just um, click on subscribe, and that'd be really good. Okay, guys, um, I hope you like this. Uh, click on like and subscribe. Take care, and I'll see you again soon.